Wow, this is the day. The song say this is the day. Children, who made this day? God gave us this day so that you and I can come into His house to worship Him. So this is the day that the Lord has made so that we will rejoice. You know what rejoice means? We want to make a joyful noise to the Lord. And on top of that, we want to worship God because He is our Lord. He is also our good, good Father. So children, I want all of you to really put down all your bags. Thank you for coming early. Thank you. Put down all your bags. Okay, get ready. On the count of three, stand up, please. Eat a son. Ah, okay. Ah, I see you all. Good or not? Do you deserve another 100 points? Yeah. Listen to what I say. Okay. The preschoolers, this group, can you come up and space yourself over here? One, two, three, move. Ah, space yourself. Cannot be close to each other. Space, space means when you do like this, you won't touch any of your friends. Okay, the second group. Let's have the fifth group. Uh, jo- sorry. Yeah, fifth group. This group. Come, come, come. Spread yourself out. Ah, cepat sikit lah. Today, uh, our time run on pop, pop, pop one. Follow. Okay. Now, fifth group. Quickly, come in. Year five. Uh, peace group. Sorry. Peace group. The standard five, standard six. Cepat sikit. Ah, quick, 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 quick. Ah, we must use all our time to give God due praise. Okay, Auntie Meli, okay. on to you and Coco Arian and Coco Sean. Hello, welcome all the KKC children. So, before we start, we are going to say a prayer, okay? So, let's put our hands together and uh, close your eyes. Auntie Meli will pray, okay? Father God, we thank you for bringing all these children here, Father. And I pray, Lord, that as they... Uh, spend uh, their time here at KKC that the time will not be wasted, Lord, but they will learn a little bit more about you today, even as they come. Thank you, Lord, for their faithfulness. I commit this time to you. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen. Okay, we're going to sing the first song. Uh. Auntie you said we have a time to follow, so we quickly sing. Uh. Don't waste time. Okay, first song. So we will sing first, one time, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Jesus, Prince of Peace, then second group, stop. Then I sing the first verse, then when I sing second verse, you come in with the first verse. Understand? Uh? Okay, uh? understand? Uh? We will challenge, uh? we challenge that group. Uh? This group challenge, uh? this group got more boys, this group got more big girls, 
So don't know which one will win. Okay? Okay, teacher, you must help your team, ah. Huh? Okay, let's start. King of King. in a non-physical way. Huh? Okay, okay. Okay, let's sing the last song, Jesus' Lamb of God. You know the actions, right? Children, not afterwards you follow me. Huh? Okay, let's sing the last song, Jesus' Lamb of God. Let's quiet down our hearts and just worship Jesus in the song.
God, indeed, Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy of all our praise. And Father, we just want to commit our lives to you. We want to pray and ask that you lead us in everything we do. Father God, you are the Lamb of God that died upon the cross for us. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for what you've done. Words cannot express how much, how grateful we are and how much your love is. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, I commit this time to you, Lord, as the children hear of you, learn of you. I pray, Father God, that their hearts will be moved to know you more and follow hard after you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Children, it's so good to worship God. Do you feel good after worshipping God? Yes. I did. Okay, can you quietly go back to your place? Like it? Ah, okay, children. Just now I forgot to announce all. Oh. Okay, you all came on time. Okay, you, you worship God real good. You, all di you listen to your teacher's instruction. Super A1, okay? And you were involved in worship. You were not spectators. You understand what you mean by spectators? When you spectators, it's like our, our, our worship leader is like up there, firm star, you all just look, look. But today you didn't look, see, look, see. But you all participated. So because of this, we value I think God, when He looks down, He will be very, very pleased. Okay? So today, for good news, you will take Ballet Rumah 200 points. Okay! Okay, yeah? Huh? Okay. So now, for the next part, fold your arms, and we are going to ask God, God, what do you want to speak to me today? Ah, hey, yo, up there already, yo. Up there already, yo. Okay. Children, how many of you really know in your heart that God loves you? Put up one hand. Do you really know that God loves you? Put out the other hand. If you really know God really loves you, put out one leg. <laughs> and if you really know God loves you, not me, I'm going to put up the other leg. For those that have support, put up both legs. Yay! Children, God loves you. God loves me. God loves everyone. When God loves you, He wants to talk to you all. He wants to speak to you. Now, children, do you want to hear God speak? Yeah, very good. Because God wants to speak to you. But my question is, are you there to listen? God is still speaking to us. God is still speaking. And... But the problem today or these days nowadays, you are super busy. You are busy with your handphone, you are busy with television, you are busy with last minute homework. Homework is good, but when homework is done at the last minute, ah, chin chai chao, ling kom le ya, chin chin chai chai jo finish kao xiang, jo gong kao dim. This is not what God wants. Remember, God wants us to shine. The good students of God or children that are good and obedient and God-fearing, respect God. You do your homework first thing on Friday. As a teacher, I think all the teachers that are in our midst, the best students that bless the teachers and bless the school are those that do their homework. Whenever they have free time in school, or at the close of the week, they will go home and chupat chupat, what bye bye, bagus bagus, all the homework, so that your daddy, mommy say, well done. And your mommy, daddy will release you for KKC easily because you have been good in being responsible to God, responsible to your parents, and you will be able to come and hear the word of God. So, does God speak? Yes. But sometimes they are too busy. Sangat sebo. Sangat noisy. Okay? On everything loud, loud. Put on earphone. Oh, yo, cannot even hear your mother say, Say, Fana, Chai. Chung Leong, go and take your bath. But you don't hear. Huh? 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 See the mother coming there, and only know that you are being summoned. Summoned, order. Order you to take your bath. So, children, 
you are too busy. So, the thing is, are you listening when God is speaking? As children of God, our ears must be very attentive. Our ears must always open to hear God. You don't expect God to be like this. You don't expect God to speak in. Hi, I am God. Ah, listen to me. Ah. God will never speak like this. Okay? You don't expect God to be very dramatic. Unless ah, you are like Paul. Ah. Remember Paul? Disciple, Apostle Paul on the road to Damascus. Wow. Jesus really uh, spoke uh, okay, and tell you, why are you hurting my people? It was a loud voice. But I believe God won't do that to Ezra. When God said, Ezra, why are you not listening to mommy? Wow, you will be very, very scared. God is not like that. God, when God speaks, He does so in a very uh, gentle way. Now let us see. How does God speak to us? There are different ways God speaks to us, okay? Before that, first of all, know that God loves you. Everybody say, God loves me. God loves me. Are you sure? God loves me. God loves me. Now, because God loves you, can you trust God? Yeah. You can trust God 101%. You may not trust your friend. Sometimes your friend Fong Fike. You know it's Fong Fike. You trust him, but he betray you or he did something wrong. So your friends being human, sometimes your friends do betray you lah, correct now. Say they will do this, but they never do. Okay, say that they will not do this, they will do. So when Humans can fail you, but God won't fail you because God loves you with all, uh, all his heart. So you trust God and you love God with all your heart. Now, besides this, okay, do you know that God goes with you wherever you go? Does God go with you when you go to school? Yes. Ah, does God go with you when you go for extra classes? Yes, for your tuition? Does God go with you when you go to the playground? Yes, God goes with you. God also goes shopping with you. Uh. Ariana just now went, say, uh, she went to Parkson, uh, she reported, I went to Parkson and I got this, got this. God went with her. Okay, Ariana, yeah, thank you. So, okay, uh, God is with you everywhere you go. So, if God is with you, He also wants you to talk to Him. Uh. You can talk to God everywhere you go. So, you can talk to God anytime. Why? Look at the clock. Dang, 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 dang. The clock goes on and on. God never sleeps. Right? Do you know the word of God says, God never slumber. Okay? Never sleep, never slumber. That means God is, we always say, 24 7. 24 hours in a day, seven days a week, God is here. Then you say, wow, can I? God can I? Of course, God can. God is God. Okay, you may be sleeping, but God, maybe, uh, is with you. And also, maybe, uh, when someone over the other side of the world, uh, crying out, uh, God can still, because He is God, He is able. So, never, God wants to speak to you, and God also wants you to speak to Him all the time. Okay, now, in what ways does God speak to us? Okay, what is the way? Now, just now, Auntie said, if God chooses to speak to you, loud, loud, Isaac, wake up! Pray for so and so. Ah, uh, that one, maybe God special lah. Okay, now, if God wants to speak like that, just like He spoke to Paul, or when He spoke from heaven, when Jesus was baptized, this is my good son. Ah, uh, God, we cannot uh, put God in a box. You understand what I mean? You cannot say, God must do like this, God. Who are you to summon God? God can do anywhere. He can speak to you anyhow. But generally, most of the time, God speaks to us in these simple ways. When you read the Bible. Sometimes when you are reading your Bible, and then suddenly a certain word, 
speak to you. Now, even now, uh, as you hear your teachers teaching to you, now and afterwards through the Bible story, there are certain things that God can speak to you. For example, even as I'm speaking now, okay, even as we have declared, God loves me. Do you know some of you really need God to tell you, I love you? You think life is scary. You think life is no fun. You think that it's not worth living. But God said, I love you. If God loves you, you better know that God loves you. And surrender. This morning, all your teachers in church, we listen to a very powerful message. Many things outside are very difficult for even giant children like us. Correct or not? Even for children, it is very difficult. But the word that we got from God this morning, God spoke to us, correct? But not in a loud voice, but inside us, the Holy Spirit. Speak to us in a very gentle and soft way. Surrender. Trust me. Trust me. So this morning, we need to open our hands and surrender to God and say, God, we trust you. Even though things we don't understand happening around us, we trust you. Even though our families are going through difficulty, we trust you. Even though our family members or our friends are sick, we trust you. We trust you and we trust you. Okay? You, we can hide in your safety. So, the Holy Spirit can speak to us. God can speak to us through the Holy Spirit. God can even speak to, uh, to you from us, your teachers, from your grandpa, grandma, your papa, kong kong, your, even your aunties or your mommy, daddies. Tell you, God says uh, this is no good. You know? They, God used your, the, the people in authority to speak to you. God can even use your teachers in school to speak to you. Hey, self you. This is wrong. Do it properly, be obedient, okay? All this, God can use the authorities to speak to you. And God can even speak to you when you are in pain. Now, you come to KKC only every Sunday, one and a half hours. All the other days and hours you are at home, you may not have your teachers around you, but... Remember just now in the previous slide, we say God is with you. God is always with you. God wants to speak to you. So you need to speak to God. Speaking to God is not difficult. It's just talk, talk, speak. Why? Uh, God knows Mandarin. Uh. God even knows Bahasa Malaysia. One, uh. Jangan main -main, uh. Don't underestimate God. God is God. You are not. So you just speak out your heart to God. And God wants to speak to you in all these ways. Maybe plus, 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 plus ways. Okay? Even God may give you vision. What in the dream, then you see God reaching out His hands to you, pet you, hug you, cuddle you. Okay, God can choose whichever way to speak to you. But all in all, what God wants to do is to give strength. Okay? The last slide say He gives Strength to the weary. Weary means tired. How many of you are tired here? How many are tired here? Yeah, I say tired. Okay, we will pray for you. How many of you want God to strengthen you? Yeah, all of us need strength. Okay, so now we will answer to the call of God to pray. Let us close our eyes. Let us pray. Children, open your heart. You can speak to God in your special way. Lord, we thank you for reminding us that you are still speaking. You speak because you love us. You speak because you know the difficulties that we are going through. Even, oh God, in school, in our families, the things that all around that seem to be overwhelming, so difficult for the children. Lord, we want to pray for your mighty strength. Okay? to encourage and to strengthen the lambs of the flock. Lord, even the bigger sheep, the teachers, we also ask of you. Lord, you are our source of strength. You are our source because you love us. 
nothing harmful will come to us. Even as we cry to you, you are always there to hear our cries and answer us, O oh God, in our time of need. We thank you for our children. Give them sensitive hearts to know that you are close, you are near. Always there for them and with them. We praise you and we give thanks to you. And we pray all this in Jesus' name and all God's children say, Amen. Amen. So now, we are going to have, for your arms, still for your arms, we are going to have Bible story, Uncle Andrew. Okay, thank you. Children, today we are going to have a special Bible story. I think never have you heard of it before. So keep your eyes open for those who are sleepy. It's time to wake up, okay? Let us hear. Ah, okay. Children, can you see a picture of a man? Can you see the picture of a man? Yeah. Yes. Guess who it is. Huh? God, ah? no. Let us, if you have your Bibles, okay, then you can see in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 9 to 18. Let us hear the story, okay? Here you have King Ahab and his wife, Queen Jezebel. Look at them. Mm, do you like them or not? Mm, no, we don't like them. They didn't believe in the real God. Queen Jezebel believed in fake gods like Baal and Asherah. When she heard that Elijah had killed all her prophets, she was so mad that she decided to kill Elijah. She didn't care that God had proved that he was real when he burned up Elijah's bull. Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. Ah, here comes Elijah. He is running. When he came to Bathsheba in Judah, he left his servant there, while he himself went on a day's journey into the wilderness. He came to a broom bush ah, and sat down under it and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Ah, children, stop. Pause for a while. Okay, Queen Jezebel and King Ahab, thank you. Children, why did Elijah run away? Okay, I asked the bigger children. Uh, why did Elijah run away? Was it because he liked to go jogging? Or he was afraid of someone? Ah, okay, Jesse. Try to answer. Because, he, uh, because Queen Jezebel want to kill Elijah. Ah, correct. Very good, Jesse. Queen Jezebel wanted to kill Elijah. Okay. And do you think Elijah should have been afraid or not? No. Who should Elijah trust? God. Yeah, children. We should all trust God, huh? okay? Because God will protect us. All right? And Elijah says he wants to die when he prayed. Do you think that is right or not? No, yeah. We shouldn't pray that we should die because God gave all of us a good life to live. Okay, children, let us continue the story. Yeah? We on our VCD back. Okay. So Elijah lay down under bush and fell asleep. Okay, and all at once, an angel came. Ding, ding. Ah, this angel came and touched him. Ding. Ah, the angel said, Get up, get up, and eat. He looked around, and there by his head was some bread baked over the hot coals. Yummy, yummy. And a cold jar of water. He ate and drank, and then lay down again. Okay. So then, the angel of the Lord again came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up, get up, and eat, for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank. Strengthened by the food, he travelled for 40 days and nights. Oh, thank you, angel. Okay. So he travelled and travelled until he reached Horeb, a mountain 
of God. There he went into a cave. Do you find a cave? Ah, see, got a cave. And he spent a night there. Okay. And the word of the Lord came to him. What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, tore down your altars, and put your prophets to death by the sword. Elijah was the only one left, and now people are trying to kill him too. And the Lord said, Go out, stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind. Woo! Oh. Woo! Okay, a wind came and tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. Children, just now you hear a loud wind, isn't it? But the Lord wasn't there. So Elijah, wait. Okay. After that, what came? After that, an earthquake came. Okay. And again, the Lord was not in the earthquake. What happened next? After the earthquake came a fire. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the fire came, but did, they, did Elijah hear God from there? No, children. Finally, after the fire came a gentle whisper. Did you hear me? What was that? Whisper. Whisper. Ah. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face. Ah. Not shy, eh? and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Then a voice said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? Okay, thank you, Elijah. <laughs> so, did God's voice came out of a loud wind? No. no uh, earthquake? No. Fire? No. How did God's voice come out? We asked the little ones. How did the voice came out? Yes. Ah, was it loud or was it a gentle something? Like the spirit. Gentle whisper is God. Okay, gentle whisper. Okay, so God came and spoke to Elijah in a gentle whisper. So children, God's voice didn't come out of those big and loud, powerful voice. Huh? Okay, God came to Elijah telling him softly. Okay, so a lot of times we think that God will come down to us like, Hello, Noah. So you have to be very quiet and listen. Ah, you cannot be busy running up all the time, talking, talking, talking on the phone all the time because you will not hear God's voice. Ah, children, today, even when you listen to Auntie Yi telling you the introduction, yeah, how God tells, talks to us, huh? you must do the same. Okay? Be always ready in your spirit to hear what God wants to tell you. Alright, children. I hope you enjoyed the story. This is not a makeup story. It is from the Bible. Okay? So, remember, it's from 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 9 to 18. After this, you have to remember because we will have a special quiz at the end, huh? Okay, children, thank you. Oh, thank you. I enjoy it. Children, do you enjoy it? Yeah. yeah. Ah, see, uh, children, God can speak to us in a quiet and gentle voice. Now, we take intermission. You go for a movie, they stop, and then do something. Interval, we call it. Now, today we got a very special visitor. Children, do you like to have new friends come and join us? Yeah. yeah. So let's call Angel. Angel, come. Now, Angel is our VVIP for the day. Okay? Come, Angel. Okay, Angel, 
Okay, all the teachers are so so happy to see you. I'm sure the your young your little friends are uh, your friends also. I think you may also know some of them. Okay, now this is Angel. I will ask her some questions to get to know her. Angel, how old are you? Ten years old. How old is Angel? Hey, if you cannot hear your friends talk, you cannot hear God talk. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. How old is Angel? Very good. That's better. Okay, we must give attention to people who are visitors and also they are very special to us. Okay, Angel, which school are you from? Avamara. Ah, Angel is from which school? All those that Avamara put up two hands. Wow, Angel, you see all this? When you go for Rehat, ah, look out. Any of your friends here? No. Ah. Wow, is it cute? When do you wear skirt? Ah? Huh? Never mind, Ezekiel, never mind. Okay, you didn't hear properly. La. You are so young, okay? You are very young only. Okay, put down your hands. Okay, thank you. Okay, Angel, look out for these children. They are also in Ava Maria. We really welcome you. Uh, Angel, shall we all stand up and welcome Angel with our normal and a loud, excited KKC cheer? See whether you can shout louder than Auntie with the mic or not. Right. Right, yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. At the count of three. Don't be frightened. Huh? <laughs> this is my, not my normal voice one. Okay. I'm having the mic. Okay. Look at your friend. We will welcome you. On the count of three. Eat a sun. Yeah. 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 Angel, we truly welcome you. Okay, we give you a gift and see you again Sunday after Sunday. Okay, not every day we got tayangan gambar drama. I don't know. Other days we have different. Okay, welcome. Okay, okay. Now we will have our memory verse. Okay, come, aunties, be good. Whoever. Um, when you can you recognize your father, your daddy, or your mommy's voice? Can you recognize? Yeah. Yes, because you belong to your daddy and mommy. So can you recognize God's voice? So let's look at our memory verse for today. Okay, we are going to read twice, huh? and then we are going to play a game. Okay, so you make sure that you remember, you memorize a whole verse. Yeah, whoever belongs. To God, here's what God says. From which book of, in the Bible? John chapter 8, verse 17. Okay, one more time. 47, sorry. Okay, one more time. Whoever belongs to God, here's John chapter 8 verse 47 Okay, can you remember? Okay, we are going to play a game We are going to let the music on And we are going to release balloons We are going to release balloons As long as the music is on The balloon mustn't touch the ground Mustn't touch the floor Okay, you keep on pushing the balloon but the moment the music stops, you quickly grab one balloon. Okay? You quickly grab one balloon. I will repeat the instruction. Huh? When the music goes on, huh? then the balloon will keep on flowing, flowing, flowing. The balloon, you shouldn't let the balloon drop to the ground. The balloon shouldn't drop to the floor. Jangan jatuh. Pudan tiao Okay? Then, ah, yeah, yeah, like this, like this. <laughs> you mustn't let it come down. And when the balloons, when the music, hello, when the hello. music, when do you, when do you grab the balloon? Ah, may you ingat lah, music berhenti, okay? Then you quickly grab, cepat cepat cari satu balloon, kau tak nak nak sow sang ni de ni de qi qi, kau tak nak. And then what happened? Okay, whoever have it, you bust it. How do you bust it? Ah, 
or you sit or do you do whatever lah. You bust it. And in some of the balloons, there is a memory verse inside. Yes, there is a piece of paper inside. And then you quickly run out here. And then you quickly arrange. Yeah? You quickly arrange among yourselves. Okay? Okay? So we are going to let go of the balloon. I, uh, teachers help me to release the balloon. So the music is starting now. Okay, music stop. Okay, quickly grab a balloon. Quickly, bass it. Bum! Bass it. How do you bass it? Sit on it. Bass it. Sit on it. Sit. Oh, okay. Ayo. Whoever has paper, quickly come out. Quickly come out. Whoever has a piece of paper inside. Wow! <laughs> okay, and then you quickly arrange among yourselves. You quickly arrange, arrange. Whoever belongs to God. Okay, whoever, whoever who has the paper, you have to quickly arrange among oh. yourselves. Whoever belongs to God, hears what God says. You arrange among yourself. Okay, all of you get 300 points, those who got a paper. Hello? Well, you get 300 points. You are very good. You know how to arrange by yourself. Okay. Now, can we recite once? Can we recite once the whole verse? Whoever belongs to God, hears his word. His voice, John 8, verse 47. Good afternoon, children. Ah, you enjoy? You enjoy memory verse? Ah, and the program that we have today? Now, today, for our object lesson, ah, we have been learning about God loves us and He wants to speak to all of us. Because we are his people, right? Yes or no? Yes. So God is our our what? Look after the sheep. The one who look after the sheep is our shepherd. And we are his sheep. So when God speaks, you must be able to recognize or identify God's voice. Am I right? Yes? Yes or no? Yes. But God speaks to us in different ways. Huh? And He comes to us in mysterious and unexpected times. So today, we are going to play a game again. So are you interested? Yes? yes? This game is to remind us to always be prepared to listen for God's voice. Understand, right? So, I have here with me a mysterious sound 
box. What is this mysterious sound box? What do you think is inside? There'll be sound, isn't it? Right? Now, you're supposed to train your ears to listen and identify what item am I playing? So you let me know, alright? What item it is. So are you all ready? Yeah. Pay attention? Okay. Let's start with item number one. Listen carefully, yeah? Sometimes God can speak to us in a still, small voice. A whisper. Or even loud, mighty voice. Right, so what is this? What is this? What made this sound? Any idea? Items, uh, these are odd items. Candy bottle. Candy bottle. Bottle. Candy bottle. No. Okay. Something in the jar that makes a sound. Something in the jar that makes a sound. Wait. Paper. What Paper. is that? Something. Paper. Okay, Paper. my clue is. Paper. I... Paper. Table? Paper, paper. I put something in a bottle, a plastic container. And what is the thing in the container? Biscuit? Cannot eat. This one cannot be eaten. A piano. Can we give them a clue? Yes, uh, it, is, it is hard. This is hard, not very big. You can find it along the road. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, very close to it. The little stones, very good. 100 points. Huh? Next one, very easy. This one, huh? very easy. Are you ready or not? Yeah. Ichi <laughs> mayo. Screaming chicken. Huh? A screaming chicken. Uh, a real chicken it or is a toy chicken? A toy chicken. A it's toy. not a chicken. <laughs> a duck. Sounds like, yes, yeah, sounds like you're very close. But I don't think they can just yeah, I will show you. Huh? If you say it's a duck, this sounds like duck. But this thing doesn't <laughs> look like duck. This is a hot dog. No, 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 don't it's duck. A donut. Sorry. A donut. Sorry. Ah, I give. Uh, it's a toy, yes. A toy that sounds like a duck. A so toy it's a donut that's. Then quite like a duck. Okay? Yes. 
fish. A fish. A fish. Fish. No, not a fish. Fish. Not real things. I cannot be real things here. No. A button. Oh. Button. Button. No. Is it a toy? Toy for pets. Oh, toy for pets. Toy for dogs. There's like some sort of okay. looks like a mini uh like a gun like that, but then you okay never mind I'll show you this is something you can learn uh. you might not know or you have not seen this gadget this is for training dogs uh. that's called a clicker a clicker to train dogs uh. understand uh. Okay, next one. Okay, let's give time to Joshua. No, no, no. Keys. Keys. Yes, a bunch of keys. Very good. Who is that? Ah? <laughs> well. Oh, this one. And here, this one. This one. Take up. Too bad. And here? Cannot hear. Okay? Cannot. Not distinctive, ah. cannot hear. Sorry, ah, children. Ah, click. Which one? No, no. I don't hear anything. Ah. Ooh. So we make the sound. Ooh. And then you feel good. And then you feel good. Getting crushed. Why getting crushed? The snack. The snack getting crushed. No. Okay. Listen, ah. Uh. Hannah is going to speak. Listen. A small bag of chips. Small bag of chips. The cotton. No. Cotton. 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 You all want a clue? Ah. ah, when you receive something, ah, you order something, it comes in a parcel. Ah, what is before you take hey, out your thing? You like to. It is fragile, so you have to keep bubble it. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Yes, bubble wrap. Okay. So, children, that's the end ah, of our <laughs> mystery sound box. I hope you enjoy. So always remember to listen for God's voice. And when God speaks to you, what do you do? Do you run away? 
No. Huh? You must listen and obey what God says, right? Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Children, wow. some of your ears, I think you need to go and see the ENT. Uh. <laughs> you know what is ENT? The doctor that check your ears. Do you know that a lot of people got earwax, uh, that block one, you know? Ah, if you have the soft earwax, uh, you cannot clean. Uh. Every day you clean it, you are digging it further and further in. So children, if you cannot hear properly, okay, you may not hear what your teachers teach you in class. And lucky like worse, you don't hear what your daddy mommy wants to tell you. So go and get your ears checked. So we will have a health camp in KKZ. Coming up, children, you know what is health camp? We want to check whether you are healthy or not. Okay? Whether you are eating well or not. So on July 23rd, uh, all the children and all the families, your daddy, mommy, I think even the grandpa, uncle also can come. Doctors will be around to check the heart, okay? Maybe check your height, okay? What are the good things you need to eat to become stronger? And, okay? But we won't check your ears, lah. You ask your daddy, mommy to check your ears, okay? Okay? Your ears we give to your daddies. But your heart, ha. Huh? Boop, 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 boop. We want to check your heart, whether your heart got missed a bit or not. Sometimes heart, you don't know, right? you can miss a bit, but only the doctors can tell. But you will also miss a bit when you find a girlfriend or boyfriend. Or, uh, okay, there's always, they say, uh, miss a bit. Okay?